Okay, so today we have day eight. It's number eight of Mr. Supranational 2017, and it's an interview day. So I'm gonna be the judge. Boys don't know that yet, but let's see how they're doing, how they feel. Okay, guys, is any of you stressed over here? Uh, it's like solid calm. Everybody's calm, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be the judge. I'm gonna give you some extra points. It's fine. Say whatever you want about yourself, the experience, why you should be Mr. Supranational. You can use it as you wish, okay? So we're gonna start with Afghanistan. I love to travel. I really love to travel. I love traveling around the world. I'm the youngest person, so I was there, like, I have to be at home the whole time, so I... I like uh, searching for some uh, specific details in everything. Aquí, she's very thankful for having the opportunity to go out of my country, to give everything, to see how in my country there are so many things My name is Mateo Song, I'm 23 years old, just turned last month, and I'm really happy to be here, representing my country, so uh, I'm actually meet uh, every culture it's been uh, my whole life. Ser Mr. Supranacional is very important because it conlleva a great responsibility. To be Mr. Supranacional is something very important for him. He knows it has a big responsibility. Yeah, and then Mr. Okay. Canada can talk for you. Okay. okay. By the way, Mr. China is using Vodi. <laughs> I'm lucky and happy. Uh, because I'm here with you under Mr. Supernation and... When we first start to feel ourselves, we really see what's happening around us and we can play our part for the world to make a better place on the world. Put 100% into whatever you want and don't let anyone stop you because the only person who is there to stop you from doing what you want is yourself. I am working uh, above uh, 20 years, more than you should work for your dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. I totally believe in that. My background study is from bachelor psychology, uh, social psychology. Yeah, it's not really an, a big thing where pageant is concerned, where the misses, the miss pageant is concerned, yes. I think I traveled more than 50 countries, so probably I, would, I traveled all the uh, countries you are from. Because also I believe that in this industry, um, because of all the exposure you have, you have the power to be able to spread positivity in the world. Modeling for me, I used to model for content pigeons like this. This is the first one for me. Landing, Mo, and you got shot and, and, and making new friends. And I'm a dance teacher, I love to dance, and because I'm a dance teacher, I'm in touch with a lot of people. I've been graduated in tourism. Uh, I love to travel, I love to study the landscapes of each country. Uh, my father and my family taught me a lot of things. How to be modest in life, how to uh, socialize with people. They taught me the you know, basic norms and values, how to blend in the society. They called me again and they called me like, hey, you want to do a commercial? And I was like, okay, let's do it. Professor de Pasarela in Lima. He's also a professor of runway in Lima, Peru. Five years ago, I moved in Hawaii. So I'm currently working as a nurse in Hawaii. I want to just improve my journalism skills. I also work in a Great Britain's company, Cineworld. Madre and then Dios. He considers himself to be someone who believes in God. Tara tuturor, sunt Mihai Pintilie. Am 22 de ani. Am o familie foarte mare și foarte frumoasă. So I have my own company right now, and I started reconstructing apartments. I'm from the Villar Sol. And I am in the uh, sport. I know I'm not that perfect, but I just I, I did not came here for only for you. I want to be an inspiration for others, for kids. I started my first two businesses just when I was 16 years old. I was doing landscaping. I had probably about 20 lawns just at 16 years old. For a vida. Okay, um, and if you want, of course, um, if you want to help an association in Venezuela called uh, Rose for a Life. 
Thailand has a beautiful temple, good people and smiles, and I like to play all kinds of sports. I'm delighted to be in this contest. So the interviews are officially over, and I do must say I am very impressed by these guys. I mean, they set the bar really high, and you don't see that very often. I have no idea. If I were to choose, I have no idea who would have won. I mean, there is no easy winner over here. What I do know, however, is that time is flying by, and tomorrow is going to be another day, so we have less than a week up until the final gala. Be sure to be with us tomorrow, because we have prepared something special for you guys. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace. Ah, right. One more thing. If you watched a live video on Facebook of those interviews, please let us know in the comments below who is your winner. Good night.